you guys. Hello. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I am. The piece that I have for you guys tonight, <clears throat> I hope you can get what I'm saying because my voice is shot. It's very, very personal to me. Um, I could have lost a very close friend last night. And one of the things that really stood out to me and, and has in, in a situation in the past is that it's very easy for your own personal demons to haunt you when you feel that you're the only one who's ever fought them. And so I'm gonna ask you guys to do something for me tonight. It's, it's, this is an interactive poem. And it's more of a battle cry, really, than, than even poetry. I want you to be thinking while I do this piece about what your personal demon is, whether it's addiction, whether it's fear, whether it's death. And there's gonna come a time where I point at you and I want you, for your own sake, but for those around us, to yell as loud as you can what that is. And it's gonna take an unbelievable amount of bravery and I get that, but this is so, it's so important. <laughs> So if you do that for me, that would mean a lot. So when I go like this, you guys are going to be yelling out the name that you've been thinking, OK? Can you guys do that for me? Yeah. OK. Thank you. I love you, too. I'm going to war for you guys tonight. Thank you. And I want you to do it, too. The piece is called The Battle. See, sometimes, sometimes we're born into that secret place between circumstance and shame. She forgot her name when she entered that world covered in muffled screams from the moment the doctor dropped her. She bore wounds and she carried them proudly as a badge of her office lived loudly hers. Hers was a life, uh, deferred liability, shirked responsibility and, and fingers caressing scar tissue picked bloody for dramatic effect to look. <sighs> Would you just look at what they did to me? There is a reason why I am the way I am. She justifies righteously and a voice quivering just enough to be completely unbelievable besides. Everyone knows it's safer here in the dirt. She lies to herself. She cries to herself while inching along on her belly, hiding from every corner of the eye shadow man, but so wistful for the heavens. I should be up there. I should be inhaling clouds, and, and I should be expelling vision, and I would be if it hadn't been for that recent. Then bloated from gorging on their lies and their sympathy, she slept until I awakened. This is where you guys are gonna come in. Look for the point. It is in that place. That place of, of sky dropping, of, of paradigm popping, of, of mirrors revealing selfish motives. It had been a coward's life. And so tonight, I want you guys to accept the knife and enter that dark place that you fear with every atom of your being. Because there's a voice chanting, you must change. I want you to Cleave away the layers, mumble frantic prayers, accept that you've lost to all direction because right there in that place where your down is up and where gravity loses its importance. I know for me, that's where I found you guys. I want you to tilt your faces tonight towards Jupiter. And I want you to scream in defiance. I will not fear. 
and I want you to declare war in that ever-increasing battle against your lower selves. Death. You're staying on the shelf. Flesh against mind, against spirit, against soul, what was divided. Be whole. And it's true. You know, we may have been lost in a haze of crossfire, but you guys listen. Listen well. They can knock us down to the armpit of hell, but we will rise up swinging because our destination has called to us since our first breath. We spit in the face of death, and we refuse to lay there and take it like some broken puppy. Our wills are tasting the destruction of captivity tonight. While what you see, it may have been shattered in battle. It may be all but in the throes of a gruesome death rattle. But when we hold each other, we will stand on our own two feet, and we will demand that life come forth. We command the elements from the south to the north, and we lick our lips in anticipation when we challenge these old ways to show themselves for the infection that they are. And we have met them on that field of hope long deferred. I am standing here on this stage, and I am covenanting to you that our hearts will be the only one left beating. <laughs>